Weight loss and low carb does not need to be complicated, nor does it meet, need a million books, programs, manuals, and diet plans. Let's talk about it. Hey there, NJRoot22.com here again with another low carb keto carnivore chat. It's a little bit repetitive from last week, but I need to say it again. You don't, you don't have to make your diet complicated. It's simple. Do not raise your blood sugar. That's why we drink low carb alcohol. Read some of our previous blog, blogs, vlogs to understand that, uh, you know, we don't really think alcohol makes a difference anymore. We tried quitting, we tried drinking, like it, not, not, nothing made sense. I think just a little moderate physical activity. If you don't feel like going to the gym, getting out and moving your body is all you need along with your low carb keto, I forget keto, low carb or carnivore diet. Um, and a lot of things that have, you know, we talked about last week, we talked about our 10 year then and now and all the things that, that uh, we talked about saying, you know, oh, you can have a little bit of sugar and you know, don't, don't spike your blood sugar. And like, <laughs> I remember some of the earlier books I read said, oh, don't eat more than 50 grams of carbs per meal. Holy crap. M maybe, you know, 150 grams of carbs a day for somebody who's like insanely active. Uh, I'm talking insanely active, like somebody who uh, runs for a living or something like that. That's just way too much. Um, our personal experience based on our body weight, which is, you know, around 200 pounds, is much less than that. It's usually uh, under 20 grams per sitting, probably even less than that, uh, under 10, single digit carbs usually. Um, and, and I'm telling you, it doesn't matter. Even if I eat 10 grams and then if I eat a meal, 20 grams of carbs for some reason, I'm absolutely guaranteed I notice the hunger more than when I just eat plain meat or zero, absolute zero net, zero, not even net carbs, just zero carbs, no fake sugars or whatever those things are. Fiber, fiber makes me feel funny too. Don't, fiber's overrated, look that up. Um, yeah, and, and those breads, pastas, and fruits, uh, it, they just, uh, man, you can feel it. When you've been zero carb for a long time, you feel it. It's like injecting like morphine, like, like uh, adrenaline in somebody's body. It's really crazy. But one thing um, that's, that's getting me a little bit these days is fruits. Because I remember that was, I was zero carb for like six straight months, and I tried an apple, half an apple. I, we went to some apple picking place. I'm like, oh, let me... Let me have this for the experience. My heart like beat out of my chest. Um, and that stuck with me because nowadays we have uh, three young kids and when you give them apples, it's not even like crackers or candy. Like we don't give them any of that stuff too much. Uh, one small trial size uh, Milky Way at, at, uh, at Halloween and nothing really bad happens. When you give them apples, like you tend to over give them apples. One kid may eat a whole apple. And I swear that it, it goes, it makes them nuts. They turn into little maniacs. And it's like Dr. Frankenstein, you know, it's like, ah, my creation has come alive, except it's not good. Um, and that's just based on personal experience. And I, I, you can witness it. It happens every time you give them an apple, they go nuts. Why is that? It's a, uh, it's crazy. I mean, they're just kids and I'll, I'll let them burn it off, but you take 30 or 60 or 90 days off from all carbs. Try a zero carb diet for 90 days. Be strict about it. Don't raise your blood sugar and go through those two week or four week keto headaches and like, like you're all lethargic. You feel like you're going to pass out. Um, never go to the banana. I remember I did that the first couple weeks of my low carb 10 years ago. I'm like, oh man, I feel like I'm going to fall on my face. And, oh, uh, eat a banana. And that was like 75 grams of carbs. Um, just, yeah, th I learned later on, just if you really need to raise your blood sugar, eat protein because protein will convert. Uh, it'll raise your blood sugar only as much as it needs. It won't take too much from it. But uh, you'll see. I mean, you'll, once you experiment and, and you realize what works and you can repeat that experiment with success, it's, it's amazing. But... I need to elaborate here a little bit that uh, I'm talking about don't raise your blood sugar and that's so simple. If you can follow it, I mean, uh, human nature is that you will 
want to, to, to you know, bring back your old foods and, and you're going to make mistakes. And I think it's kind of okay to make mistakes. You almost need to make mistakes. So you, you get like your own data, not just data you read. You get physical data. It's like your own computer database inside your body and your brain. I don't know. I think uh, when you experience failure and you can correct it and you want to correct it on your own, um, it, it lasts a lot longer than reading in a book and following it because it's hardcore at that point. It's rock solid. So if you have any questions, just email us, njroot22 at gmail.com or comment in the, in the comment section here on YouTube or go to my blog, njroot22.com. And that's it. If you liked the video, hit the bell, the subscribe and all that nonsense and I'll see you next video.